Hello everyone, I'm Crozo, and in this video I will be helping you set up an old classic game called Red Faction to run on your computer with little to no issues. This will also make streaming the game easier too if you desire. First a little bit of info for those not familiar with the original Red Faction game. Red Faction is an FPS game released in 2001 originally for the PC and PS2. It later became available on the PlayStation Store for PS4. The game's key feature is Geomod, short for Geometry Modification which allows players to modify the environment throughout the game. However, unlike other games where such actions are usually scripted events, such as hitting a switch or throwing an item at a marked spot, the environment modification in Red Faction is unscripted, giving the player many interesting opportunities, like sending this APC to its doom, carving unscripted tunnels to create shortcuts to, or to avoid enemies, and whatever else the player can think of. Now, Red Faction isn't completely unplayable on its own, and I haven't come across any serious issues myself, but I have seen other people complain about issues and claim that the solution that I will show you in this video does fix them. The only issue I really had with Red Faction was, like many other old games back then, uh, it does not play well uh, on the desktop with other applications. It doesn't, so it doesn't rearrange everything like I've seen many games do, uh, but you can't try to alt tap out. You can't hit the Windows key um, to try to leave it. I mean, technically you can. You can try to alt tab out and won't let you. Uh, in some cases, I have seen the Windows key work and I can escape the game to mess with something off screen. But if you attempt to try to return to the game, it won't be functioning properly. Uh, you won't be, it will play music and everything. You'll be in the menu or inside the game or whatever but you, it won't register your keyboard and mouse input, at least from what I've seen. And uh, that means that you won't even be able to leave the game either. Uh, I've tried alt ta I tried doing control alt delete to get the task manager up, but for me, task manager appears on the same monitor as the game and the game stays on top of it, so I can't get to it. I've tried closing it from the taskbar on the bottom. That doesn't work, it just sits there. The only solution I had to remedy this was to restart my entire computer, uh, which is why I'm not going to demonstrate it on this video because I don't feel like doing that. Uh, the only other issue, as you can see on screen right now, is the resolution. This game is old, so the highest it can support is 1280 by 1024. And as you can see, it does not look pretty. Uh, the solution in this video makes it so that you can use higher resolutions in this game. So the solution of course is a mod. Um, originally the mod to go to was something called Pure Faction. Uh, however, a new mod came out at some point called Dash Faction, which you see on the screen now. And this is the most recommended mod to use. In fact, even the developers of Pure Faction recommend this mod. I know this site looks uh, kind of sketch. It's not, and the mod's not sketch either. Uh, I installed it on my own computer to check it out myself. I did uh, antivirus scans and everything, uh, checked to make sure it was a clean install and a clean uninstall uh, before I even made this video, before I even did the stream, just to make sure it was okay to use. And it is, I, at least my experience was. Obviously, some some people might be different, so I would still say be careful, but I can say that this mod does work and it should be safe to download. And if you're a programmer like me and you maybe want to be able to take a look at it, he has a GitHub page with the source code to dash function for you to check out yourself and even build the code yourself if you want to be absolutely sure. But it does work. Dash function, as you can see down here, it provides a number of improvements and bug fixes to the game as well as some extra features that make the game run a little bit smoother. So here we have the installer. Uh, I'm just going to run through it step by step to show you uh, what to do. I'm going to... S oh no, I'll just leave it on that drive. I have two drives, but I'll leave it on this one because it's not going to be up there for very long. And then you point it to... You're, uh, you have to point it to where Red Faction is. And I've had this installed before, so I guess it 
state my information from last time. Or I think maybe it looks for the Steam library. I'm not entirely sure. This will tell you, like, the name your folder. And then it will give you a lot of these options. So I leave that checked because for the most part, in order to play the game using this mod, you have to run it from the shortcut that it will put on the desktop for you. Um, I left that check. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I'm sure it's necessary. Same with this one. Uh, that's for the level editor. I don't really care about the level editor. And if you're going to try multiplayer, you can leave that checked. I don't think it's necessary. This is optional. This is if you want to run the game from Steam, but still use the, uh, the Dash Faction Launcher, you would check that. Uh, I'm not going to check it. And then again, this is for the level editor. I don't really care about that. So we hit next and then it's gonna have you review your choices, hit install, and then it'll give you the option to, choose, uh, to launch Dash Faction. And this little menu will show up. Going to options, we have all this stuff here. So it gives you way more options to deal uh, to do with graphics as well as uh, sound and everything. Right now, the big thing is graphics. We're gonna click on that. And as you can see, it gives you way more options in order to change the resolution of the game. So we're gonna set it to the highest that it supports. I'm going to leave everything else checked. So we set our options and then you just launch the game. And as you can see, the game already looks so much better. As you can see on video, it takes up the full screen now because the resolution has been fixed. Um, the text menu options are much clearer. They're not fuzzy text or anything. Um, we'll turn this down just a little bit because it's kind of annoying. Um, some of like the HUD stuff is a little bit more clear but only by a little bit. Now, despite many of the improvements that Dash Function gives you, it's not going to improve a lot of things visually, such as uh, texture models and stuff like that. You know, characters, I don't think they change at all, really. Uh, I wouldn't expect them to change that much. Uh, some objects may look better than in Dash Function than the original. They might not change at all. Uh, they certainly will not get any worse, uh, but it does make the game work a lot better on your machine. It will cooperate with the rest of your desktop, especially if you want to alt tab out. In fact, I can probably alt tab out right now. Yeah. So I can alt tab out to my desktop. I can go back to the game and I can interact with everything and it doesn't break the game at all. Alt tabbing out and it maintains a nice resolution. So that's like the important part, being able to have, being able to play the game at your full resolution without it being stretched out, looks nice. You can even play it full screen so you don't have to play in windowed mode just to keep everything looking nice. And if you're someone who wants to stream or record uh, videos, then you can do that and OBS will pick up the whole game just fine and it won't look weird on your capture, even if you use display capture. This entire video, I use display capture. So even though it's full screen on my computer at 1280 resolution, uh, my display capture shows it in a tiny little box with the rest of the screen being black. So I don't know why. So this is Red Faction without Dash Faction, uh, just running it straight from Steam. Uh, so, um, on the video, it's going to look weird because it's a 1280 by 1024 resolution. So it's going to be like a box with a bunch of black space for you. But on my screen, it is super stretched out. And so, you know, here's some of the textures and everything. The doors, the walls, the dirt, the buttons. Uh, you can see a lot of jagged edges. That sort of thing, the lights, this button here. So this is, yeah, so that's, this is what it looks like without dash function. I can't imagine it being a huge difference, but there should definitely be some noticeable things like the uh, resolution of the game within the video. 
And here's the game with Dash Faction. So it's full screen on the video, and it's full screen on my end. It's not stretched out. It's at 1980 resolution. So, you know, here are some other items, the textures of the walls and everything. Walls, the button, stairs. The elevator, as you can see, it's much smoother. And the button looks better too. <laughs> so yeah, this is the game with dash function. Here's what a model looks like in the game without dash faction. And here's that same model with dash function running. <laughs> yeah, that's not much of a difference really. So I hope this video helps and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, maybe hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you like. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.